Hi, this is Mike coming to you from Glasgow. We've had the great privilege of serving with several ministries that are on the front line, so to speak, of what God is doing here in Scotland. Now to tell you about one of those ministries is my good friend, Barbara Jenkinson. Good friend of Mike and Darla's, and it's great to have them back in Scotland. I run a wee uh, ministry, well, it's not so wee anymore, called Light and Life, and uh, let me just tell you a little bit about it. I mean, in Scotland, God's doing something amazing, and He's been doing something amazing over the last few years. He's been pouring out His Spirit, just like it was prophesied back in Joe. And, and as He's pouring out His Spirit, what's happening is that the ordinary people of Scotland are becoming really spiritually hungry. Um, but it's not like the past revivals that, that people have seen. It, they, when they're becoming spiritually hungry, they're starting to look and search in all different places. And they're not turning up at the church doors, at least initially, because they, they, they see church as being religious. And so in parallel with God pouring out his spirit, you know, he's releasing this wake-up call to the church as well. And he's saying, get out of the church, go tell my lost kids that I love them. And so out of, the, out of all of that... Um, we, we birthed a little ministry called Light and Life, and, and what we do is we go outside the church walls, we just finished a little cafe outreach tonight, just in the centre of Glasgow, and we go out there and we, we share God's loves in ways that the people of Scotland can relate to culturally. And, and, and some of the ways that they've been stirred up, you know, some of them are getting dreams and they're just desperate to know what these dreams are, and God's speaking to them while they're sleeping, and they come along, and more often than not, these dreams are about them meeting Jesus or going through a door that's open or going towards a light, and once we're able to interpret these kind of dreams, they then really want to know more about the God that gave them the dreams in the first place. Other people are coming along because they're, they're just desperate for direction or they're desperate for healing of body, soul, and spirit, uh, or they're desperate for peace or for love, and yet we know all these things and more are found in Jesus. So they're getting spiritually awakened, don't know where to turn, um, and they're looking in different places. So in our local events, we just advertise free healing or free spiritual direction or free dream interpretation and you know we're just inundated we can't keep up with the demand in Scotland and uh, tonight we had a little cafe outreach just in a little place just five minutes from where I'm standing right now um, with 30 odd people through the doors a small cafe and 10 of these people tonight give their life to Jesus just after having life changing encounters with him and that's not a one off it's not uncommon quite often we can have hundreds of people queuing up for bigger events um, and over the last seven years we've seen something like 2,000 people come to faith just as we brought them into encounters with the God who loves, who speaks, who heals, who delivers, and who sets people free. So he's doing something amazing in Scotland right now, but it's not confined to Scotland. He's doing something amazing across the globe. And the key question we need to ask ourselves is, what does love look like for the people we want to reach? What's the Holy Spirit doing, and how can we partner with them to bring these people into encounters with God?